Sunday, the 24th of July, 2022. 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. First reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said, How great an outcry there is against Sodom and Gomorrah. How grievous is their sin. I propose to go down and see whether or not they have done all that is alleged in the outcry against them that has come up to me. I am determined to know. The men left there and went to Sodom while Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Approaching him, he said, Are you really going to destroy the just man with the sinner? Perhaps there are 50 just men in the town. Will he really overwhelm them? Will he not spare the place for the 50 just men in it? Do not think of doing such a thing to kill the just man with the sinner, treating just and sinner alike. Do not think of it. Will the judge of the whole earth not administer justice? The Lord replied, If at Sodom I find fifty just men in the town, I will spare the whole place because of them. Abraham replied, I am bold indeed to speak like this to my Lord. I, who am dust and ashes, but perhaps the fifty just men lack five. Will he destroy the whole city for five? No, he replied, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five just men there. Again, Abraham said to him, Perhaps there will only be forty there. I will not do it, he replied, for the sake of the forty. Abraham said, I trust my Lord will not be angry, but give me leave to speak. Perhaps there will only be thirty there. I will not do it, he replied. If I find thirty there, he said, I am bold indeed to speak like this, but perhaps there will only be twenty there. I will not destroy it. He replied, for the sake of the twenty, he said, I trust my Lord will not be angry if I speak once more. Perhaps there will only be ten. I will not destroy it. He replied, for the sake of the ten. Responsorial Psalm On the day I called you, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. On the day I called you, you answered me, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excels all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. On the day I called you, you answered me, O Lord. You stretched out your hand and saved me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. On the day I called, you answered me, O Lord. Second reading. Reading from the book of Colossians. You have buried with Christ when you were baptised and by baptism too. You have been raised up with him through your belief in the power of God who raised him from the dead. You were dead because you were sinners and had not been circumcised. He has brought you to life with him. He has forgiven us all our sins. He has overridden the law and cancelled every record of the debt that we had to pay. He has done away with it by nailing it to the cross. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word was made flesh and lived among us. To all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. Hallelujah. Gospel Reading from the book of Luke once Jesus was in a certain place praying, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this, 
when you pray. Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us, and do not put us to the test. He also said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and goes to him in the middle of the night to say, My friend, lend me three loaves, because a friend of mine on his travels has just arrived at my house, and I have nothing to offer him. And the man answers from inside the house, Do not bother me. The door is bolted now, and my children and I in bed. I cannot get up to give it to you. I tell you, if the man does not get up and give it him, For friendship's sake, persistence will be enough to make him get up and give his friend all he wants. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For the one who asks always receives. The one who searches always finds. The one who knocks will always have the door open to him. What father among you would hand his son a stone when he asks for bread? Or hand him a snake instead of a fish? Or hand him a scorpion if he asked for an egg? If you then, who are evil, know how to give your children what is good, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Gospel of the Lord.